so dear students now we will learn about elbow anastomosis means the connection between the link between the brachial artery and the upper ends of the radial and ulnar arteries is known as elbow anastomosis or anastomosis around the elbow joint so we can differentiate it in a easier way like this is the medial epicondyle of humerus the other side is the lateral epicondyle so we can see the in front of the medial epicondyle and posterior to the medial epicondyle and in the lateral side also in front of the lateral epicondyle and posterior to the lateral epicondyle so this is how we can learn it an easy way so here in this picture this is a schematic diagram showing the link between the brachial artery so m is for the medial side l is for the lateral side it is medial and lateral epicondyles and this is the brachial artery so during the flexion in front of the elbow the brachial artery may get compressed so when it get compressed the other arteries this anastomosis this collateral arteries they all communication so this forms a collateral circulation around the elbow communicating the brachial arteries and below with the medial side we have got ulnar artery and lateral side is the radial artery so first we shall do with the lateral side that is the lateral epicondyle in front of the lateral epicondyle the anterior descending branch of profunda brachii so anterior descending branch of the profunda brachii artery so this is the profunda brachii artery which is a deeper branch of brachial artery supplies most of the posterior compartment of arm and this profunda brachii artery gives rise to two branches you can see on the lateral side so the anterior descending branch of the that is in front of the epicondyle this is in front so here is the anterior descending branch of profunda brachii artery it anastomoses with the radial recurrent branch of radial artery so the one which is coming here so anastomosis is here so this is the radial recurrent artery i am writing a for the artery which is a branch of the radial artery so here we can see this is the radial artery branch next behind posterior to the lateral epicondyle the posterior descending branch of profunda brachii artery anastomoses with the interosseous recurrent of posterior interosseous artery so this is the posterior descending branch of what profunda brachii artery so it is a posterior descending branch so profunda brachii artery on the lateral side it is giving anterior descending and posterior descending anterior descending uh, communicates with the anastomosis with the radial recurrent artery which is a direct branch of radial artery whereas the posterior descending branch of profunda brachii artery it uh, anastomoses with the interosseous recurrent so this is the interosseous recurrent artery so anastomosis is here so this is interosseous recurrent artery which is a branch of posterior interosseous artery posterior interosseous artery it is a branch of posterior so this is the next we shall see about the medial epicondyle so in front of the medial epicondyle inferior ulnar collateral branch of brachial artery so it is a direct branch of brachial artery so inferior ulnar collateral branch so this is the which is a branch of brachial direct branch of brachial artery it anastomoses with the anterior ulnar collateral branch of ulnar artery so this one here is the anastomosis this is anterior ulnar uh, anterior ulnar collateral branch which is a branch of ulnar artery 
and behind the medial epicondyle means posterior to the medial epicondyle superior ulnar collateral branch of brachial artery so this is inferior what what we had written this one is the inferior the one which is here is the superior so this is superior ulnar collateral branch which is a branch of brachial artery it anastomoses with the posterior ulnar collateral branch of ulnar artery so you can see here here is the anastomosis so this one is it anastomoses with the posterior ulnar collateral branch posterior ulnar collateral branch so this is completes the anastomosis around the elbow joint uh, to remember some e easy anastomosis i we can use a mnemonic like i am pretty smart i am pretty smart i is for the inferior ulnar collateral artery goes with the anterior branch of ulnar recurrent artery so inferior ulnar collateral artery this is the inferior ulnar collateral artery it goes with the anterior so i and a the other one which we can remember with this mnemonic is posterior branch of ulnar recurrent artery uh, goes with the superior ulnar collateral so this is the posterior branch it goes with the superior ulnar collateral arteries okay so this is a small mnemonic to remember partially on the medial side anastomosis but we can it is an easy way if you remember it is like in front of the lateral epicondyle behind the lateral epicondyle in front of the medial epicondyle and behind the medial epicondyle so this elbow anastomosis provides a collateral circulation when brachial artery is compressed so that is the main use of this anastomosis around the elbow joint and also it gives articular branches to supply the elbow joint and also many muscles which insert and get origin near the elbow joint so this completes the anastomosis around the elbow joint